So in the previous video, we installed our Avel Zero command line tool, and we also created our own project. And we could run this by PHP Penguin, and this gives us a list of the commands that we've got available to us. So we need to build our own commands, and for this, we're just gonna get the PHP version. So let's create a command for this. So it's PHP Penguin make colon command, and then we just need to give it the name of the command. So I'm just gonna call this one version, and I'm just gonna stick command on the end. That seems to be the naming convention that Laravel Zero uses. So let's hit enter. So let's open this project up in your editor. So you can see it's got a similar structure to Laravel, and all our commands are under the app folder commands. And we can see our version command we just created via the command line. So let's open this. So there's a couple of things we need to fill in here. The signature is the actual command you need to put in to run. So at the moment, we do PHP Penguin inspiring to run the command. So for this, we need to create a name, a unique name for this command. So I'm just going to call this one version. And then under the description, this is the description for the command. So for this, I'm just going to put return the current install PHP version. So in the handle method, this is where we actually build our code that will actually run when the commands run. So there's a method built in called this info. And this prints something out to the console. So let's just try this for now so we know it's working. So I'm just going to print out hi from our new command. I'll just save this and then run it. So now if we do PHP Penguin, we can see the commands available to us. We've now got version and our description that we put in. So let's run that. So it's PHP Penguin version. And it prints out what we put in the info. So let's get the actual version of the PHP that's running on this system. So I'm just going to create a variable called version and that equals I'm just going to do a shell execute and I'm going to do php v and then in the info we're just going to pass it that version variable so if we just save that and we rerun the command so it's php penguin version and you can see it outputs the current php version so in the next video we'll create another simple command just to get the current php ini file